what is this project about? I am a volunteer at the Eagle Tail Mountain Wolf Sanctuary here in Tonopah, Arizona. About 50 wolf dogs call this place home and Kelly, the owner, is making sure all the wolf dogs are taken care of. I am building a tiny guest house, 8 by 16 feet, which is for future volunteers that would, for example, want to stay for a night, a week or a month in exchange to their workforce. There are organizations online already, like Work and Travel, where a host can sign up posting that he or she needs help. And so travelers, on the other hand, can register and look up some work they're interested in in the area they want to go and travel. When I moved to Arizona, I wanted to get in touch with basically anything with wolves. And so I found the wolf sanctuary online and got in contact with Kelly and came out here every once in a while on the weekends and helped out as a volunteer. And I liked the work, I liked the wolf dogs, and so I kept on coming. At the same time, I had an interest in tiny houses privately, and I had this idea that one day I will build my own tiny house. But that wasn't yet the real project, so it was just, it was just an idea. While being here on the sanctuary, I could feel the need for more volunteers. And I just had this idea that it would be great if he would have volunteers that would stay for a while and not come only on weekends because he has work every day during the weeks. All of a sudden I had this idea that he would be a perfect fit for work and travel. But he basically cannot offer free overnight because he doesn't have a place for people to stay and he needed a guest house and it just clicked. So I asked him if I may try to build a guest house, a tiny guest house on his property and Kelly was the right person to ask. And he said, sure. The deal was, I will take care of everything. Not that I have to do everything alone, but I will take care of the financing, the material, the blueprints, and I wanted to. I really, at that moment, I thought about it, I got the spark. And the more I thought about it, the more I really, really wanted to do it. From the early stages of the planning on, I wanted it to be off-grid. I did not want to have to run electrical from the main building to the guest house. I didn't want to try to connect to the existing septic system and so on. So I started researching about off-grid and YouTube was my biggest resource. But also talking to companies and to other people that have worked professionally in the fields or that just gave me tips because they have done something similar before. That taught me a lot. Also, my background as an interior architect helps especially with the, the blueprints and the planning and some basic architectural understanding. I like teaching myself how to and people generally underestimate how much time goes into learning, teaching. It's out of the 100% time spent online, 10% are really what are helpful. The project is entirely financed by donations. I started with a GoFundMe campaign and in addition I was walking onto ongoing construction sites, talking to the site manager and asking for leftover material. I do like the concept of reusing material, so I asked and got permission from businesses to go through their dumpsters, but I also looked and found a few good items 
on Craigslist. Empower the World is sharing my enthusiasm for reusing and solar power. So they donated all the solar panels that we got from Santa and Solar. I wanted the project to be documented in a way. It was part of my financial plan to have at least one social media channel where I can refer to as what I'm actually doing. So the videos are not a how to build a guest house, but they should just be documenting the progress. And I also want people to get inspired by watching, like I got inspired by watching other YouTube channels.